Hello friends, welcome back. Um, today, in this lesson, we're going to iterate with JavaScript while loops, while loops. You can run the same code multiple times uh, by using a loop. The first type of loop we will learn is called a while loop because it runs while a specified condition is true and stops once that condition is no longer true. So here we set a variable to our array and we and make it an empty array. We set a variable equal to um, zero which is called i, which is short for index, right? So while the i, or index, is less than 5, we're going to add that i to our array. And then we're going to add 1 to these, this uh, here. So um, i++ plus plus is the same as i. Uh, i is equal to i plus 1, right? I++ plus plus is just short for this. My, the way that I like to do it is I like to go I++ plus one because I think that it's more explicit. explicit. However, plus plus is the way that they're doing it in this example. So let's try getting a while loop to work by pushing values to an array. Only change co code below this line. Push the numbers 0 through 4 to my array while using a while loop. So my array is already set. So what we can do is say um, we want to set variable equal to an index is equal to zero. We want to push zero through four. Okay, so we can say while index is less than five or less than or equal to four, either one will work. Um, we're going to say the first thing I like to do when I write index while loops that involve indexes is I like to just add the uh, statement to exit it right away because this helps to avoid situations where you have um, what's called um, what's it called when they when the computer just runs indefinitely if you make a while loop that doesn't exit it will just keep running and it'll essentially crash your or I mean your computer will just stop working for a little bit you'll have to close the program and, and reopen it um, so anyways in here we've got the the index running so if we were to run this uh, this code this would happen and what we want to do here is put my array dot push and then we want to push in the index. If we were to console.log my array right now, we're going to see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've pushed 0 through 4 into here. If we were to console. So this is um, after the while function. And if I were to copy this up here and say before, before the while function, you'll see that my array is equal to nothing, right? And so um, at first we set my array is equal to an empty array, and then we console log out that, and we see that it's an empty. And then we set an index equal to zero, and we say while index is equal to, is less than or, while zero is less than or equal to four, we push on the index, which is zero. So my array has an index of zero. Another thing we could do here is console if we were to console log out here, my array inside while loop, you'll see that we're actually iterating through here. So we come through, zero is less than or equal to four. That while that's true, we're gonna do this. And so we come down, we add zero to the in the my array, and then the index becomes one. And then we come back here, index is one. Is one less than or equal to four? Yes. We print out um, one, um, we, well, we print out the array with the one attached to it. So now we're here, my array, and then indexes, um, we add two, and then to three, and then four, and then we get to five. So the index is set to five on the fifth loop. On the fifth loop, it says, if while index is, is, is five is less than or equal to four, well, that's false. And then that's how we exit, and we get down to the uh, here, while well, it says after the while function. Now, if you were not to add this index in here, this function would just run for eternity, and you'd have what's called an infinite loop. Yeah, infinite loop, and your computer just uh, just starts working hard in the background, and it's not making any sense of it. So that's how this works. Um, these console logs aren't important for the um, passing the tests. If I were to run the tests now, you'll see it passes. But you know, these are actually the only reason I put the console logs in there was to show you how this works. But this is basically the simplest. Um, solution. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.